Kabbalah Session 5 In this final session, let us begin by looking at Hakabala, not as in Session 1, as an eight-sided tesseract or cube over time, but as a two-dimensional shadow of the same shape on a Euclidean Cartesian plane space. We see the universe of space now as a series of rippling arcs, and the multiversal force of time we see as the square of that circle, that is, having the same area, but exceeding its circumference in exactly four corners. The four concentric rings symbolize the Kabbalistic four worlds, or the elemental traits and qualities that apply to each of the cosmological forces of our universe in the order in which they formed one Planck time following the Big Bang. Immediately we see that the Tree of Life of Kabbalah takes a form of a spiral shape to connect the dots of where these circles and squares overlap. This spiral revolves around one way above called Phi, i.e. a Fibonacci spiral, and the opposite way below called Pi i.e. a spiral mirabilis. The ten Sephiroth attributes are given titles derived from Timothy Leary's interpretation of the three bardo total of the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Here we find that Kether and Chakma symbolize the primary and secondary clear light respectively, but that the seven Sephiroth below these twin supernals, from Bina down to Yesod, are the realms between the Eightfold Path and the Six Lokas, and thus belong collectively to the second realm of the Buddhist afterlife, the Chon Yid Bardo. Lastly, Malkuth Shekinah is symbolized by the four elements surrounding a human figure, itself representing the fifth element of spirit. This Leary corresponded to the Sidpa Bardo. Next, to study the attributes of the squared circle, flat plane model of Hagabala, we examine each corner and then rotate the entire shape around its central circle. Once we have rotated the tree of life spiral shadow of the phi to pi ratio around full circle, we come to the tree of death, upside down from the tree of life. The tree of life's ten sephirot emanations are represented on the tree of death as the taking back of ten blessings that shattered the cliffhoth shells. Here, these sins are listed as the Ten Commandments. Then, returning the model to the upright position, we find that it is the stirring of this spiral permeating upward into, then downward through, the space-time continuum represented as the square circle that causes the differentiation of the four Kabbalistical elemental worlds. Such is the penetrating gaze of the all-seeing eye of the Creator, maker, shaper, and former of all so minute that it can search down all the way from around the outskirts of time itself and look long into our soul. Before we leave this geometrical model though, let us pause briefly to consider some of the other symbols on it. Between the Egyptian hieroglyph for the Ka, representing the body on the far left, and Malkuth in the center, along the eighth spoke on the horizon measures exponential distances from earth in light years between the egyptian hieroglyphic for the ka aura or energy double on the far right and malkuth in the center measure four states of consciousness expressed by the vedic hindu buddhist terms for various levels of trance meditative mind state Finally, let us only briefly consider the shape this squared circle form of Hakbala would take in three space, and following this the shape again extended into four space over three space, the sacred version of the golden dawn tree of life known to the profane.